Dear Heavenly Father, we come before you in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. We ask you for your blessing upon this time, Lord. I ask you, Lord, for your will to be done. Let your name be glorified. Let your word be shown true, Lord God. That God is true and every man is a liar. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for everything that you have done to show your people the truth of what lies ahead. Those who love the truth shall not be in the dark. Thank you. Thank you, Father. We worship you today. We give you the glory and the honor, Lord. We rebuke every work of the enemy in the name of Jesus Christ. And we ask, Lord, that your presence would be here with us. Give us your presence, your blessing, and your anointing upon this time to share this information. I give you the glory and the honor. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right. Well... Guys, I have some incredible information here, and it's a lot of information, and um, I wanted to just, more than anything, just ask the Lord to be with us and uh, to be with me during this time because, uh, you know, I, I want to know how to present this correctly and let the people know what I need to let them know based on what I have seen here. Um, this would be one of those times where I would rather just go on living my life and put aside maybe what, what I've seen, but this is what I have to share with you. Uh, I want to, I don't know what I'm going to title this document yet, but uh, I want to uh, take you to my document. The first thing I would, I would ask you to do is while you're watching this video, open up the document link in the description box and follow along everything I'm going to be saying here. You've got all the proofs all the links, all the, you know, all the Bible texts, everything that we're, we're going to be needing that will lead us and guide us, okay? All right, well, the first thing we, uh, we have here, okay, is that we have, we were led to, okay, and if, and if, if we get to a point where you don't agree with, you know, where we are or, you know, what led us where, um, you know, this is all documented. The link down below, I have a full video that I did an hour and a half that proved, amp uh, you know, completely uh, from the timelines of Daniel. Um, how we can understand the 70 weeks, how we can understand the uh, covenant with many, how we can understand the abomination of desolation, the place of the abomination, how we can understand that we were brought to November 16th of 2016. Okay, 
we were led by the number of days from the abomination. The abomination plus 1,335 days according to Daniel 12. And we were brought to the blessed day. And, and what, what was the blessing? The blessing is that the final revelations from November 16th are being revealed. And if your eyes are open to what we're going to be seeing today and how we can understand this, you are blessed, okay? So we, I can't go into all of that information, but we were led to November 16th, 2016, and what did we, what did we have? We had Obama ended up in Berlin, back in Berlin, his, his sixth trip, to Berlin, which is, you know, the home of the Pergamus altar of Satan. It is, is where uh, Hitler had it. It was moved from Pergamus, and Hitler uh, received his power from the altar of Satan. It's the throne of Satan from Pergamus, okay? And so uh, Obama was in Berlin. Okay, and what we ended up happening, what, what we ended up seeing is day 1,335, we saw Jupiter entering Virgo, and this is the Revelation 12 sign was beginning, so we're seeing the birth event, okay? This is the birth event, okay? And that's what I had, and that's why it was so solid that November 16th, it had to be the end. I mean, it was, it was so solid. Okay, now the birth event. Okay, so we have Obama in Berlin. Okay, let's just look at it this way. Obama in Berlin is the equivalent of Jesus in Bethlehem. Okay, uh, I mean the, 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 the birth place, the birth place. Okay, so we've got the Berlin, uh, you know, the Pergamus altar of Satan, Obama in Berlin. We've got Jupiter entering Virgo on the same day, okay? All right, well, where is this revelation taking us? The revelation is taking us to the birthing ritual from Leviticus chapter 12, verses 1 through 7, okay? I have documented this in two uh, other videos, okay? But what we end up seeing here is we, we have Jesus fulfilled 40 days from his birth with the circumcision and then 33 days. And, but for the, uh, the female child, there's another day count. There's another day count. It's the 14 days and the 66 days. It's 80 days for the female child, okay? Uh, the Antichrist will fulfill the 80 days of the female child because it is the Antichrist is gay. It's uh, a, a person who does not have a desire for women. The Muslim Mahdi comes in the spirit of a girl. That's part of the Muslim prophecy. Okay, so we've got the female child and it leads us. It leads us 80 days but we have a middle moment confirmation of the 14 day event. November 16th plus 14 days is the division of Jerusalem resolution 2334 approved at the United Nations General Assembly. Okay, this was the 14 day event. Then we add to the November 30th, 66 days. And it brings us to February 4th and 5th, Super Bowl weekend, 2017. Okay, now, before I get into the information I have about Super Bowl 51, I want you to understand that the revelation did not begin trying to figure out the Illuminati Super Bowl stuff. 
This has been going on for years. Super Bowl has been number one huge in Illuminati for many, many years, okay? It's steeped in Illuminati. Many people have shown that this is one of the most satanic events on the planet. You know, everything that is put into it, the number of people that watch it, the way they prepare their shows, you know. So, but I didn't start at the Super Bowl. I didn't go looking for the Super Bowl. What I have is I have a biblical revelation that's leading me, okay, and this is why, you know, this is not a private, this is not a private uh, interpretation. I was chosen to bring forth this information and I'm sharing it with the public. That's why people can say, well, what, you know, how, how, how can you know that? Well, I, what I am receiving, I am sharing with the public. So here's the information that I am receiving and then you would uh, discern it or you would uh, study it, you would compare it, you would pray over it, right? We watch and pray and we try to find the witnesses that we need to confirm okay so i didn't start with the super bowl what i have we have is a, a day count that leads us to november to november 16th and then we have a birthing uh ritual from the bible with a set number of days 14 days and 66 days leviticus 12, 1 through 7. 14 days and 66 days. So what we have is we've got the division of Jerusalem as our 14-day event. That's the counter event of the circumcision of Jesus Christ. Okay, the most important event in our generation. Okay, so this is what we, we are seeing now. Okay, I want to get into this information uh, about these uh, two movies that are leading us to exactly Super Bowl 51. They're leading us to FIP Super Bowl 51. Okay, there, there's going to be no doubt about this at the end. Okay, you're going to have to stick with me if you're going to want to understand. Okay, but these, these two movies lead us directly to and exactly to Super Bowl 51. There, it's not about just a Super Bowl. It's about the Super Bowl that everything is riding on. Okay, and you're going to have to stick with me if you're going to want to understand this. Okay, so as I began studying more about the signs that would show us Super Bowl weekend 2017... Because, you know, you have the biblical revelation and that everything the Antichrist is doing is countering the biblical revelation. It's the deception events, uh, you know. I mean, the fact that they have been doing Illuminati shows for many, many years at the Super Bowl causes everyone to discount now the possibility of something happening at a Super Bowl. I mean, it's just their, their own form of doing things, their, their own way that they do things. You know, the, the, the constant warnings, the constant lying, the constant deception has gotten everybody to the point where they're just tired of, you know, looking at the information. But when the, when the true information comes out, who's going to be looking for it? Who's going to be ready? Who's going to be able to understand? And so we have right now, okay, we have these signs that are leading us to uh, Super Bowl weekend 2017. As I uh, began studying this, I saw these numbers recurring with this information. The number 322, the number 13, the numbers 1116, 166, 1661, and 66. Okay. Now I've got these two clips here. These two clips, and then we can talk about them. Uh, I'd like you to, you know, take the moment to watch these two clips. One is from the Dark Knight Rises, from Batman, and the next one is the movie Oblivion. Okay. 
there's just they're short clips and they'll this will be the basis of the information that we're going to be sharing okay okay now that you've taken the time to stop this video and watch those two clips let's talk about oblivion the the movie oblivion first okay the first thing we see in this clip is that Tom Cruise has a hat on for the from the New York Yankees okay the, he's leading us to Super Bowl 2017 but it could be a sign of something happening in New York okay he says that the quarterback was at the 50-yard line the bomb And, and as he's talking, okay, he's not just talking about the, the play in the, in the Super Bowl because it looks like he's arming a bomb. He's got this uh, machine in front of him. He's putting this cube together, this, uh, this tube, and he's, he's putting it together, and then the lights go on, and it's almost look, like he's arming a bomb. Okay, so the symbolism continues. And then it goes on, and he directly says this was the last Super Bowl. They're leading us to Super Bowl 2017. They're showing, they're showing in the movie, the last Super Bowl was 2017. Okay. And the robot in the movie is number 166. Okay, 166. Then Tom Cruise says, 166 back online. Okay. And that is key to understanding that Obama will be back. <laughs> the mark of the beast is next. 166 is back online. Okay. Now, this is going to get so deep here. It, we're just starting out. So you have to follow this. You have to follow this. Let's talk about Dark Knight Rises. Okay, we've got the Dark Knight Rises. Number one, we've got this uh, this movie title, Dark Knight Rises. Okay, remember the episode of the Red Wedding, the Game of Thrones, when at the end of the uh, Red Wedding scene, the king. Uh, says the king in the north rises okay dark knight rises the king in the north rises both of these terms refer to revelation 17 8 where it says he ascends out of the bottomless pit he rises because the beast that you saw was and is not and will ascend out of the bottomless pit and go to perdition. Those who dwell on the earth will marvel, whose names are not written in the book of life from the foundation of the world, when they see the beast that was and is not and yet is. Okay. So the, the title of the movie, Dark Knight Rises, is symbolism of Satan, the beast of from the bottomless pit, rising back up out of and into power. And then we're going to be led to Super Bowl 51 based on all the information that we can find surrounding these two movies together. Okay. Now, as the attacks, you watch the clip on the Dark Knight Rises. And as the attacks are about to begin, we see the villain Bane is rising from the dungeon, okay? He's rising out from the dungeon to attack. Then, of all the numbers on the jerseys, the two that stood out to me were 99 and 17, okay? And 99 is the, is the 66, but the importance of 17 is that Super Bowl 
51 li turned upside down is 17 it's 2017 so we've got a double 17 super bowl 17 17 and 17 is the number most associated with the flood as in the days of noah okay there's people that watch 17th of every month uh looking for a possible rapture event because the number 17 is so important and but now we don't have the you know the the day 17 but we've got a double 17 on the year and on super bowl 51 li upside down is 17. okay then in that scene the number 322 appears okay this is the skull and bones number from this elite secret club of all the presidents okay it's also the date of the abomination of desolation when Obama was in Israel defiling the birthplace of Jesus Christ and signing an agreement with Israel the unbreakable alliance okay it's not only about just being in Israel but it was the agreement there was an agreement that was signed it's called the unbreakable alliance okay so we've got all the details surrounding the abomination that have led us from the very beginning those who have wanted to deny these events are, are denying where we are and what's happening and now it's Obama's out and Trump's in and peace and safety and everything's going to die. No, not it's not going to uh, lay over and die. The, 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 the biblical prophecy is going to be fulfilled and without the correct understanding, we can't understand it. And so what we have is Obama in Israel making an agreement with Israel which they called the unbreakable alliance okay march 22nd 2013 322 it's also 13 because of the year 32213 another illuminati number and then we've got 3 times 22 is 66 okay well here's your 322 right in the movie flashed up there before that booth explodes and everything goes down okay and then you know what happened then after the unbreakable alliance who is this oh, barack obama guy that would make an unbreakable alliance with israel well now he divided jerusalem he cast the deciding vote to divide jerusalem so this is the you know the unbreakable alliance is now breakable he's divided israel what a, what an alliance what a lie what a betray what a betrayal okay and this is part of the biblical scenario of of him betraying he has he has betrayed the covenant okay then we see that from the super bowl the last clip in the movie the last clip in the movie shows the complete takedown of society from the day of the Super Bowl okay and now how weird is this okay here's a clip I don't know if you want to stop this and watch this clip real quick uh, or what you want to do but here's a clip of Donald Trump in his inauguration event the, his inauguration speech and he quotes the villain Bane from Dark Knight Rises <laughs> and we give it back to you the people we give it back to you the people and this is a uh, you know for those who uh, you know our peace and safety with Donald Trump you know this is his signature sign three sixes okay three sixes 
This is his, his, his trademark hand gesture. He's always flashing the 666. This is the way he moves his hands. Okay, this is by design who Donald Trump is. Well, here he quotes Bain from the movie Dark Knight Rises. Okay, a few more details. Remember all these numbers that we're seeing. 1116, 166, 322. How about the connection from the date of the movie Dark Knight Rises, July 20th, 2012? Let's see what we can find from the date of the, the movie release, July 20th, 2012. Remember when Dark Knight Rises, there was a shooting in Colorado on the day of the uh, release July 20th 2012 it was the Aurora Colorado shooting at a Century 16 theater okay what were the details on the shooting well there were 12 people killed and 70 injured <laughs> what 12 killed and 70 injured. <laughs> That's the 12 apostles and the 70 disciples. The work of Jesus was the, the number of Jesus' ministry, 12 apostles and 70 disciples. And now we have the Antichrist from this movie, Dark Knight Rising, the Antichrist Rising, showing and doing the works of his father just as it says in John 10:10 10, 10, the thief does not come except to steal and to kill and destroy i have come that they may have life they may have it more abundantly so he instead of calling 12 apostles and 70 disciples he has 12 people killed and 70 people injured in a movie a theater Century 16, there's your six, and you're one again. It's a new century. Mark of the beast is coming. The, the mark of the beast is coming. Okay, now let's look at the number of days. From July 20th to February 5th. 2017 July 20th 2012 to February 5th 2017 it was the movie release of the Dark Knight Rises it was the Aurora Colorado theater shooting July 20th 2012 to Super Bowl 51 February 5th 2017 1661 days 1,661 days. Okay. The, the, the date that everything began on our count is November 16th, 2016. Okay, that's 111616. Then we've got from there, from the division of Jerusalem, we've got 66 days. To Super Bowl weekend okay that's the biblical number of days 66 it's the number of the beast this is the way the Lord has given to us to understand the revelation the number of days we're led by the number of days okay then we have resolution 2334 add to that the inverse of that 4332 and we have 6666 the division of Jerusalem Tell me that's not satanic. February 5th is day 36 of the year. Six times six. Super Bowl 51 is in Houston. Okay, Houston, we have a problem. That's Apollo 13. Okay, that's their that's their our Illuminati number 13. And it's the abomination was 32213. 2017 is 13 years from the last Super Bowl in Houston. 
and 2017 is 33 years from 1984. Okay. Now, Super Bowl 51. 2017 minus 51 is 1966. First NFL season was 1966. Super Bowl was 1967, but the first the first season was 1966. Now, Super Bowl 51. Is that as in Area 51? Alien abduction? <laughs> okay. Super Bowl 51. Area 51. Okay. Alien abduction. Praise God. The skull and bones number 322, March 22nd, 2013, The Abomination of Desolation. Both movies above show the Super Bowl. Oblivion shows the Super Bowl exactly 2017 as the last Super Bowl. The, date, the release date of Dark Knight, Dark Knight Rises leads us by the number of the beast, 1,661 days to Super Bowl 15. Super Bowl uh, 51, sorry. Super Bowl 51. And then we have to remember the number of the robot. Okay, robot 166. The robot in oblivion. Okay, see, it's the 166. 1661. 66 days. 1966. All these things are leading. This is their uh, this is their way that brings them. It's the number of the beast. Okay, it's the number of the beast. The Bible tells us to have wisdom for the man to search it out to understand. It's the number of a man. His number is six six six. Okay. And this is the way they do things. This is the way. And it's part of the biblical revelation. Just as, just as uh, the Lord has revealed everything ahead of time in his word for us to understand, the, uh, the agreement, what I'm understanding now is that the agreement is that any plans that Satan would have, he has to show it. He has to show it. There can be nothing hidden it's uh, that's why it's you know 911 was repeated and repeated and repeated in different ways it was shown in different ways ahead of time it was shown in the simpsons it was shown in other ways it was shown on the money on the currency okay the the new 100 dollar bill shows a nuclear event in New York okay now the movie shows New York and it's showing when Super Bowl 2017 with the with the hat New York Yankees okay these are revelations that that come that you know we search out we don't always know exactly what is going to happen and when but when it's all said and done okay I mean after the fact everybody on 9 9 9 11 said why didn't we see it how come we didn't understand it? How, did, how could we let that happen? Well, because people aren't watching ahead of time. History, you know, I mean, we look back now at what Hitler did, and we, we see, how could that happen? Well, you know, well, it's all happening in the middle of it. People aren't watching until it's too late. Okay. So here is the, the revelation. The timelines of Daniel reveal the beginning, 1947, reveals the covenant with many after 62 years, which is 2009 to 2016. We have the abomination of desolation revealed by a midweek event, number of days from the Nobel Peace Prize. March 22nd, 2013. And then we are led 13,300, well, 1,335 days to November 16th, 2016. Okay. Then, Israel was divided, okay, for those who doubt these figures. Okay. 
Israel was divided 69 years to the day from its rebirth. On November 29, 1947, the order to restore Jerusalem to November 29th and 30th, 2016, 69 years to the day, just as Daniel 9.25 says, from the order to restore Jerusalem, there shall be seven weeks and 62 weeks. 69 years. And that was the vote. Vote 2334, resolution 2334 came down on November 29th and 30th, 69 years to the day. Then, the covenant with many, the Obama Nobel Peace Prize was confirmed seven years to the day. The covenant with many for one week, seven years. The Obama Nobel Peace Prize. The award was received on Kislev 23, 2009. The Hebrew calendar is the same on both dates. He received the prize on December 10th, 2009. Israel was divided on December 23rd, 2016 at the Security Council. It was confirmed, the covenant was confirmed on the Hebrew calendar, both dates are Kislev 23, seven years to the day. Okay. So, you know, we are we were led to November 16th, 2016. Day 1,335. One, 1, it's the birth event as Jupiter enters Virgo. Okay, we're not making up a birth event. This is a sign in the heavens. This is a known sign, an understandable, visible sign that can be seen, that can be understood, that, the, that is, is here for us, that's leading us to the end is this fall uh, of the sign. But we have that birth event, that moment. That, that was the moment it began. And so now I understand why Obama had to go to Berlin on November 16th. As Jupiter was entering Zeus, I mean, as Jupiter, Zeus, Jupiter is Zeus, right? Jupiter and Zeus are the same. Planet Jupiter represents Zeus, which is the abomination god from uh, the Maccabees. The abomination of desolation has to do with Zeus and Jupiter. Okay, and so we, we as, as, as Jupiter was entering into Virgo, there's a birth event that's going to be taking place. And as that was happening, Obama was in Berlin. Okay, And that is the birth place of, I mean, it's the throne of Satan. It's the throne of Satan. The Pergamus altar of Satan is in Berlin. And it, that, that's why Obama needed to be in Berlin on November 16th. Okay. Then we're led by the, the birthing ritual, Leviticus 12, 1 through 7. Jesus fulfilled the seven days plus the 33 days. He was circumcised on the eighth day. And then we have the days of the female child, the gay anti-Messiah, the Muslim Mahdi who comes in the spirit of a girl, And we have 14 days that the Bible shows from the birthing ritual. Okay. November 16th, 2016, the Bible shows us there will be 14 days. What happened 14 days after the birthing ritual? November 30th, 2016. 14 days. The division of Jerusalem. Resolution 2334 approved at the UNGA. Okay. Then we have 66 days to fulfill the blood of her purification. 
leading us to February 4th and 5th, Super Bowl weekend. Okay. Now, at the end of the 40 days of Jesus, he was presented in the temple. Okay. At the end of the days of the birthing ritual, there are offerings that are brought into the temple. Okay. And this is what I am, I am say, seeing. And I'm, I'm, I don't know what will happen on February 4th and 5th, how it will happen. I don't know if that is the day uh, that it will end or if I don't know. But what I'm, say, what I'm seeing is the connection between the presentation of Jesus in the temple after 40 days and the presentation of the Antichrist uh, after 80 days sitting in the temple. This is part of the, uh, the, 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 the birthing ritual. To bring a, an offering into the temple, Jesus was taken into the temple and presented after 40 days. Okay, the, now... The fulfillment of 2 Thessalonians 2.4 is what I am seeing on February 4th and 5th. 2 Thessalonians 2.4 Who opposes and exalts himself above all that is called God or that is worshipped, so that he sits as God in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. What happens after this? Well, to me it seems like it would be rapture. Because the passage goes on to talk about the restrainer being taken away. Okay, so if you connect the the event of sitting in the temple and the restrainer being taken away, okay, we don't know the timing on all that. It could be that moment. It could be that week. It could be another sign. But this, to me, seems like the end. But we'll we'll have to see, right? Uh, and uh, you know, I I I I've, I haven't been wrong about dates. I've been wrong about what I tried to put into those dates. What I thought was the blessed day. I mean, the biggest mistake was declaring rapture on November sixteenth. I thought absolutely that was rapture, and I discounted the uh, the validity of this message based on. Uh, my incorrect interpretation. And so right now I want to be very careful to say that I don't, I'm not declaring rapture. But I'm declaring e events that are leading us to uh, what could be rapture or what are absolutely events that are going to be fulfilled on a biblical timeline. And February 4th and 5th is... <laughs> This, these are the days. These are the days for biblical fulfillments to take place. We're led by the, the, the Bible, the number of days. We have our confirmation event on November 30th, the 14-day division of Jerusalem. Okay. And 66 days to February 4th. Okay. Now, are there any other connections between the United Nations Security Council and the National Football League? Take a look at this picture of the, the Security Council at the United Nations. This is the place where the deciding vote took place on December 23rd Okay, this, is the, this was the office, the chamber, the United Nations Security Council. This is the, let's say of the United Nations, you've got the, okay, this is the mock temple. The United Nations is the, is the, is the mock temple. Because you've got the outer courts, which is the general assembly, and then you've got the inner courts, which is the Security Council. This is like the, the unholy of unholies. Okay. And you've got in the mural, 
the centerpiece. What's the centerpiece? Looking at that mural, what is the most important piece on that? It's the football. <laughs> it's the Illuminati eye. It's the football. If it was the Illuminati eye, it would be turned the other way. Standing up like that, it's a football. What do you've got coming out of the football? You've got the phoenix rising out of the football. I mean, it's the United Nations Security Council. I mean, this is, this to me seals the deal. I mean, if, if there was any doubt before, this seals the deal right here, baby. And now what else do we need to know? Football represents an egg. It's the birth of a new race. Area 51. Who's singing at Super Bowl 51 this year? Lady Gaga. Remember a few years ago she brought forth the birth of the new race? out of an egg at the Grammys. Okay. There you go. There you go. Lady Gaga singing at this New, new Year's Super Bowl, bringing forth the egg of a new race. Okay. You guys will have to investigate if you want the links to certain things that uh, I've shared, she was very open. She had uh, interviews uh, on different, uh, you know, shows, David Letterman, I don't know what show she was on. But uh, she explained that. What, the, what's the deal with the egg? Why did you come out? It's the birth of a new race, okay? So this is part of the Illuminati agenda. This is part of the, uh, you know, the, the plan to bring forth a new race of people. And it's right there in the middle of the United Nations Security Council is the Phoenix rising with a football at its head. It's the egg. Okay. And then Obama said he would return to nag Trump from the sidelines. So what's the moral of the story? <laughs> they are ready. They know when and they know how. Okay. And they are prepared to strike. Can you see? Can you see how clear it is all becoming? They are prepared to strike. Luke 21, 34 through 36. Take heed to yourselves, lest your hearts be weighed down with carousing, drunkenness, cares of this life, that that day would come on you unexpectedly. For it will come as a snare on those who dwell on the face of the whole earth. Is there any event that is more widely uh, publicized? It is the most worldwide event, Super Bowl. They want to make a, a statement. They want to bring forth a declaration. They want to declare somebody God. <laughs> Who knows what they're going to do and how exactly. But they have the world's attention more than any, any other moment. This is the most widely viewed event, okay? And what do the people do at the Super Bowl? They carouse, they get drunk, it's the cares of this life and they're just into the Super Bowl. Let's put everything aside. I mean, there's people that plan their whole calendar around the Super Bowl. And this is the biggest event of the year, the Super Bowl. For a lot of people, this is, anyway. Take heed to yourselves, lest your hearts be weighed down with carousing, drunkenness, cares of this life.
that that day should come on you unexpectedly. It will come as a snare on those who dwell on the face of the whole earth. Watch, therefore, and pray always that you may be counted worthy to escape all these things that will come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. Okay. Here are the links to my previous documents. Anything else you need to understand, you'll have to study uh, while there's still time and uh, bring yourself up to speed, okay? And the way I see this, uh, two things from Matthew 24 that I see, it says, uh, unless those days were shortened, no flesh would be saved. And because of the elect, those days will be shortened. It says because of the elect. And so we've got the warnings, right? We've got the warnings that have come forth that maybe have detained, have deterred uh, their actions because they, when, they're, when, they're, when their evil is exposed, okay, when their evil is exposed, then the days are shortened because they're not able to act. But there comes a time where, you know, the biblical revelation and the end of Daniel's timeline collides with, with their plans and there's not going to be any stopping what has to come. It's written. What is coming has to, is, is written. Okay, and so what I, what I predict now is that Matthew 25 with the ten virgins where it says that all the, the, uh, the, the unwise virgins went out to buy oil. Okay, now this is the time where everybody's going to be studying and, and, and trying to get oil, but there's not enough time. There's not going to be enough time. So, um, you know, get your oil while you can because the time is coming and it, it's, running, it's running out, okay? So here's the information. Here's the links on everything else you would need. And thank you, guys. Thank you for uh, standing with us. I share this in the love of our Lord. Amen.